Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany, and today is a another like random day in the life. I don't even know why I picked up the camera today. I guess it's because I wanted to really do like um, this pregnancy test. Um, on camera but it's memorial day today so i don't know when you guys will actually be watching this but we are going to be having some barbecue ribs tonight so i'm going to be showing you guys a really good recipe i'm thinking i'm going to do a hero workout which is why i still am wearing the same stuff that i had on yesterday i've got my little crew here with me nova say hi hi <laughs> what are you going to do today i'm going to go to the slide what does memorial day mean Does it mean we're remembering all of the soldiers who lost their lives defending our country? Yeah, we're always showing that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to teach her um, a little bit of something. But yes, yeah, so yeah, let's just go ahead and see what today brings us. I'm just going to take you guys through like a day in the life. Taylor's home today because he decided he would stay home today for the holiday which is super nice of him because he had taken Saturday off too so I know he's probably low-key stressing because he's not working Ew. what's it what is that um I don't know it's how you live with your women is it pineapple it's not yeah, it's pineapple. It's pineapple. so we just went and got groceries I can't even believe how absurd of amount of money this little tiny grocery haul was but we did pick up something that I'm probably going to test on camera, obviously. There's some cherries in there. Do you see the cherries? Ooh, I think the cherries simple. And shout out to the gal at Starbucks that gave me the hookup on these cups. I'm so excited because lots of orders have been coming in for the Starbucks Senior Cups. I'll show you guys those later because I've got to make a couple. I've literally got like vinyl and Cricut stuff everywhere. Okay, so these are the um, beef back ribs that I got. I got two packs because there was just like three or four ribs in each one. And I've actually never made these before, so I'm excited. Um, I did pick up some rub also because I've never done that before. But this is just the Weber chicken and rib rub. And then I got this too because I wasn't quite sure. It's just a barbecue rub and we don't have a grill here so i'm going to be making them in the crock pot possibly i'm going to do some little some research but i wanted to do some rub and then it was just buy one get one free on this weber so i got this steak and chop um seasoning salt also because i do a lot of steaks and pork chops here so he said it was really good then i just got some eggs some heavy whipping cream some fruit the cherries are really good you guys they're in season here in washington if you're local i got some pineapple some banana some tomato and onion um these are like a huge staple in my house my entire family loves them did you spit the seed out did you spit the seed out i wish i had one of those um cherry cutter things cherry cutter yeah that just like take the seeds out because my daughter will literally just like swallow these seeds if you're not watching her um yeah so these cheddar sausage things are a staple in our house my entire family loves them i got some tuna some onions some tomato some barbecue sauce for the ribs olive oil some salad um some cheese sticks some strawberries um a bell pepper red orange and green um i like the red and orange for snacking and then i like the green and orange for cooking so i'll just do like a variety um, and then I just got like some basic household stuff. I needed this extra um, surge protector extension cord. And then I wanted to try a couple of different styles out, um, like techniques out for mugs. So I just like got these random ones. And uh, this is the wash that we're using for Nova right now. Um, we started using this like a month and a half, two months ago because she was like getting really bad eczema. So now we've been using this in conjunction with I think her lotion got taken upstairs, but I'll show it to you guys later on tonight um, what lotion we've been using, and it's worked so good. And then this is just some more, like, epoxy stuff for work. So, yeah, that's what we got. 
Oh yeah, and I can't forget we picked up this huge thing of animal crackers and this thing of apples. Okay, so to prep these ribs, I just cut them into sections because they were all one. And then I rinsed them under some cool water and I pat dried them. And then I've got all my seasonings out here, washed my hands. Um, so I'm just going to season them up and I've got my crock pot ready to go. And again, this is the barbecue sauce we're gonna use today, so. I've convinced Taylor to do um, a hero's workout for me, with me, sorry. A hero's workout with me and I'm going to have it's called the Laredo workout and it is Memorial Day today. So um, typically I just do like my beach body workouts at home. You guys know I do those all the time. Um, but because I had to go somewhere super early this morning and I was just not motivated to work out, um, I saw a friend on Instagram actually post this workout um, in honor of, you know, like the fallen soldiers. Um, and it's a Laredo workout. There is another workout, but it seemed way more intense. So this one seemed this one seemed a little bit more doable, so I'm excited about this. Um, it's just like got some jump squats, some air squats. You guys will see a little bit of it. It includes um, like a, a little bit of a run. I think the run ends up being a mile and a half once you're done with it all because it's like six rounds, um, a quarter of a mile each time. So I am excited about that, and I'm really excited about these ribs. So I'm just gonna like generously season. You guys know I do not measure seasonings at all. I'm horrible at it. That's why I could never like write a cookbook or anything because I'm just not good with measuring seasoning. So you just wanna give everything like a nice generous coat. This is actually a barbecue rub. So I'm gonna get some gloves and rub this. Okay, yeah, I just wanna kinda be careful so I'm gonna pour with one hand and rub with another. It's really good, so. It's got like um, oregano, garlic, paprika, turmeric. Um, let's see what else. Sea salt, different spices, things like that. I'm gonna do a little bit on the back side. Flip these guys over and do the back side. Let me know, like, if you guys um, have don't have a grill, because we don't have a grill yet um, for our house, and so I love cooking ribs in my crock pot, but let me know if you guys um, prefer, like, using your crock pot or, like, your oven for ribs, because I know growing up, my mom used to use the oven all the time for ribs. Like, we never, we didn't have a crock pot growing up. Um, so, yeah, I just but I'm obsessed with my crock pot now. So I'm just gonna dump this in. This is quite a hefty load. I hope that this all fits. I'm actually gonna layer it a little bit. So I have like a smaller crock pot, but I'm gonna do a little bit of um, the barbecue sauce and then a little bit of like ribs. Like I'm gonna layer it because I don't want it to be too much. Babe, can you open this? I want the sauce to like evenly coat everything, but because my crock pot is so small, I'm just gonna do like a little bit of sauce on top in between like the layers and then i do have a little bit of liquid smoke here that i'm also going to add i feel like it looks really dark right here where i have have y'all so and my nail just popped off layer some ribs in there and do some more sauce i love these crock pot liners that you guys know i talk about these all the time crock pot liners make your life so easy if you are a crock pot girl like myself Boom, okay, so that goes right up to the top. So I'm gonna push it down, top it with some more barbecue. I hope that this cooks down and that I don't regret like stuffing these in here, but we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll see. I know we're gonna have rib leftovers for days, but as you guys also know, if you're not new here, your girl loves her leftovers. Love leftovers and I am not ashamed to say it. So just a few more little shakes there of liquid um, smoke, which gives like a really nice barbecue-y flavor. So get on the liquid smoke game if you have not. And then I'm just gonna turn this on high and this is gonna cook for so six to eight hours. It's 12.30 right now. I got a late start to this. So I'm hoping that by 6.30 we'll be ready to eat. 
supposed to put it in water. Yeah, but it doesn't hit you that good when you put it in water. You're just supposed to like, if you just like take it straight up. It's good. Okay. This is cool. I'm trying to like record both an Instagram story and record us doing this, but we're both gonna take a shot of pre-workout. So you put some liquid in your mouth. And then you just shoot it. Mm. More liquid. Oh my God, you're a beast. Oh my God, he didn't even put any extra drink in his mouth. All right, I'm gonna go change and put some more clothes on. Somebody woke up early and said they wanna come join us. You wanna come join us? Oh, look. So we have basically been living, letting TJ live in this thing because we really want him to get comfortable putting more weight on his feet so he can hit his milestone markers a little bit. Can you run in that, buddy? Can you run? Come to mama. Come to mama. Come here. Come here. Is this it? Okay, so this is the workout that I'm gonna do. Um, so it's six rounds, 24 air squats, 24 push-ups, 24 walking lunges and a 400 meter run and you do this six times so this is what we're doing up, don't you stop cause tonight it's on the line show me how you get on down close my eyes take me for a ride Ooh. shit we're four in and i'm tired Okay, I am swamped, like I'm so tired. That workout was insane. Um, we both showered and Nova woke up from her nap like just in time, it was perfect. We like just alternated showering. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this breakfast um, casserole that I made. Uh, I actually made it in a previous video, so make sure that you check it out. I'll have, um, I'll have the video linked here. Every Wednesday I post what I eat Wednesday videos and I focus on lower carb videos. So if that interests you, make sure that you are subscribed by hitting that red subscribe button down below and a little self promotion there, you know. Um, it's already three o'clock. I have not eaten a single thing all day. And I know that's horrible and I can tell because I'm so tired. All I had today was my coffee um, with a protein shake in it and some water and some pre-workout so just caffeine on caffeine and that's probably why i'm like shaking so i'm gonna eat this and then um we're just hanging out right now watching moana and probably gonna get some orders and stuff done or work on some cups probably and wait for dinner to be done because i'm so excited for these ribs look they smell really good so far so i'm excited so my garage is no longer a place for our cars. It's all of it's a place for all of our um, dysfunction, like all of the things that we're gonna donate once quarantine's over and things open back up. And then of course I've got my cup set up here. So I have my spraying station here. I've got all of my cups and drying cups and rotating cups here. I've got all my order sheets over there. I've got miscellaneous supplies floating everywhere. I just got this and I haven't set up like an official table for it yet. So this is like what it's looking like right now. That's really pretty. Yeah, so ever since um, I had sent uh, Brittany Born Leach a photo tumbler and she had reposted it and like it drove a bunch of traffic to my site so uh, I am extremely grateful for that and I am inundated with orders now so I am just trying to like stay afloat sorry I see something on my cup here and I'm like mm -hmm. what is that girl what is that I am just trying to like stay up on my orders and like you know 
make sure that everything um, is going out in a timely fashion. We're getting super close to Father's Day, so a lot of Father's Day orders, which I'm super excited about because I'm getting um, the opportunity to like create some like ready to ship options and things like that. So. I am just really happy with how everything is turning out so far with this little small business of mine and it's just like been a really fun idea and you know I'm actually kind of surprised that so many people are still buying frivolous things but with the injection of money that the government has given us during quarantine I totally understand so let me spray this really quickly and then I wanted to talk to you guys okay so pregnancy test why am I taking a pregnancy test? Well, we are obviously not trying, but my period is like four days late today and I keep on having symptoms like it's going to start, but then it doesn't start. And it's been on, it's been on point for the last four months since it came back. Like TJ is about to be 10 months. Oh, he just turned nine months, sorry. But it came back right at the six month mark. So this has been like my third cycle and it's, um, or it, this is supposed to be my fourth cycle. And it's been like right on point, like, at the same time every 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 month basically so I just want to check and see um, I obviously I want another baby but we had decided that like it's just not in the cards for us like right at this moment but we're not closing ourselves off to the idea later on in the future we just kind of want to see like where we're at and then obviously you know finances play a big role in this kind of thing so I more power to the people who have multiple kids, like more than two or three. Um, part of me never wanted more than like one kid. Um, so I don't know who this woman is that's now like, oh yeah, let me go for number four. But I have really noticed um, a real value in my heart of like family and just, you know, being able to have siblings, give my kids siblings, that kind of thing. So I am going to go and take this pee test just to make sure that I'm not pregnant and that nothing happened with my IUD, which I had placed um, right at like five months postpartum or something like that. So yeah, let's go and try and see what's going on. Okay, so this is just like the little cheapy test that they sell at Walmart. Um, not the 88 cent one, but I think there was two tests in here for like $5. And I got the two test one because obviously if this one's like negative, but if I still don't get my period in a couple of days, then I want to be able to test again just to like double make sure that I'm just like uber late or something. So I would be both thrilled and terrified if this were positive um because you know it would be something that would make me really happy but results in two minutes blah 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 blah, blah. okay <sighs> all right it's thinking so I'm just gonna It said two minutes. Taylor's downstairs. I didn't even tell him I was gonna take this right now. He knows I got the test because I've been telling him like, maybe I should take a pregnancy test. Um, but he doesn't know I'm taking it like right this second. Yeah, so he um, knows that I bought the test, but he doesn't know I ran upstairs to take it like right now, so. Okay. It's only been one minute and 35 seconds. Oh my God, you scared the crap out of me. Why are you creeping? Because? Because what? He came up here like a slithering snake. I didn't hear anything. And? I don't know, do you want to read it? You mean do I want to read it? Pick you haven't it read it yet? No, I just peed on it. What? The box is covering it. Huh. One for pregnant, or no, two lines for pregnant, one line for not pregnant. One line for not pregnant. One line for not pregnant. Now for the next two weeks, she's gonna be buying them every other day testing. I hate these blue line tests because you can always see the dye line, but yeah, girl, that's negative. 
Well, guys, nothing surprising here. Surprise! Okay, so we may or may not have a problem. I peeled all of the ribs out of the crock pot and they're like really tender, like they were falling off the bones as you can see, but I like my ribs a little saucy and stickier. So I put some more barbecue sauce on and I actually turned my oven on to broil because I'm gonna stick them in there for just a few minutes and see about like broiling them. But the one thing I'm worried about is that it looks like there's like a lot of fat like there's a lot of fat and I didn't realize that when I cooked it, like I didn't take any of the fat off. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it doesn't do anything too messed up to it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna eat dinner and hang out here at home. I think I'm going to end it here because nothing exciting is happening for the rest of today. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Um, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you liked hanging out with me too. And follow me on all my social media and all that jazz and I'll catch you guys in the next one, bye.